All right, Logs Tabs Tournament with these fine people put together by the Grandmaster Marshal of all the fighting stuff, Chris. Here we go with Slinky Lowell versus Tau Master. Tribals, Ancients, and Farmers all getting together for Slinky. Look out for the Mammoths and Spear Throwers. On the other side, the Dynasty, Monkey Ninjas, Firework Monks, and a Dragon. My money's on the Dragon. The Calm Before the Storm. Squaring off, getting ready to launch, and here we go! Barrage of flaming arrows right away in the... Uh, is that the dragon? Okay, never mind, not on the dragon side. We are now firmly for the mammoths. Not counting the one that's running into the building. The other mammoths, the good one that was the backward. Okay, doesn't matter here. The blue archers know what they're doing. They're standing still and firing, staying out of harm's way. A lot of red shields in the ground. These guys are already out of it. Oh, this one could be over before it's done. Mammoths fly. Now the blue dragon's getting into positions. It's flaming out there. Burning up one of the mammoths. Still got the dragon jumping around while the archers stand still. Not seeing too many of the red team left. This one could be over. And it is with an over-the-shoulder stab. These guys are done. And we bid goodbye to Slinky. Next up, Peaches versus Yogo Hurt. Oh, spooky here. We got Reaper's Pumpkin Catapults. A candle head. I can't even talk due to the spookiness. But on the other side, the red team, Renaissance Da Vinci Tank, Archers, and even a healer. See what happens on this battle. We got a couple of different things to watch out for as you survey the damage. Arrows in the back, poised and ready to launch. And here we go. It's go time. Da Vinci Tank spinning around there. Oh, cutting into slow motion so we can see the devastation of the paper lantern bomb. A lot of smoky barrage coming in from the other side. Being way up high is probably your best bet at staying alive here. Not sure who is shooting the red beam. Maybe that's the healer. Is he healing the Da Vinci tank as the spooky guys and the special images get into position on that right side? Look, this dude swinging swords around. He's got a sword wall. Oh, and his what is that? A scythe wielding spirit coming in. He got hit as he sending the other ones around. Getting charging forward now. Still got those arrow guys in the back. Two of these getting lifted up by this guy doing his best venom impersonation. He seems quite proud of himself. Look at that face. So snug and full of death. Oh, picking up more, picking up more. Still got an archer left. One archer standing, maybe back there. Can't tell. We got a few of the blue teams. They're loading up a pumpkin again. Oh, there it goes off the rails and something's firing back. Is this the last guy? Not anymore, he's not. Blue victory. Yoga Hurt is out. And we are on to Sid versus Tina. The one everybody wants to see. The one everybody is waiting on with tribal mammoths, scarecrow farmers, 10 skeleton archers. That's a lot to bring to the battle. But right on the other side, Da Vinci tanks, jousters, and of course, don't forget the balloon archer. You never want to sleep on a balloon archer. Oh, and here we go. Look at the pummeling that this guy is taking right off the bat. He hasn't seen balls flying like that since something I can't say. Now we got a lot more battles in the background. These Da Vinci tanks are just mopping up the floor here. In the back, though, we got our wing guys. We still got some archers. Waiting to see what's going to happen. One Da Vinci tank's blown apart. He's done. Can't see the balloon archer. Have to assume he's just killing them by the thousands. Oh, but that's enough. Red victory. Sorry about that, Tina. Fun pack versus Willow. Look at this. We got people all over the place. There's dynamite throwers, a sarissa, whatever those are, and catapults with a potion seller. Three, in fact, lining up. Look at this. Man, this one's going to be one for the ages in this beautiful city of wherever this is. Okay, getting our full view there. Potion sellers in the back, shield warriors up front. Uh-oh, spooky catapults, reapers, skeleton archers, skeleton warriors, sword casters, and vampires. Not sure how the vampires are going to fare during the day. Maybe some... Damphir or Daywalker type of thing. We'll have to get a report on that later if we can, but it uh, looks like, oh, yep, here we go. Mammoth charging ahead. Not sure which one of these I would back, but I like those scary Venom guys with the sight. Those are hard to beat. He's up on the wall getting it done. Down here in the battle, we're getting a close-up view of this mammoth. He looks like he's a good that sword juggler. Catapult flinging stuff. Presumably he's doing damage. The other catapults over there, he's got him covered. Mammoth looks like it's on its last leg. So maybe going extinct. That's a joke. Now we got a few more here. A little Reaper man just cutting them down right and left. 
This one's a hard one to call. Mammoth has the X's on his eyes. That's got to be hard to see. Innocent strategy there, I'm sure. Got more archers. Looks like they're going to try to home in on the last few of this level. Running around. Oh, potion tosser at the end. That was enough to scare him. And they are done. Willow goes forward. Here's our first round. About to head into the second. We got a few of these guys that had a buy to the first. How will that play out strategically? We're about to find out. All right, here we go. Bali, that's me. Towel Master. Got my own special army here. I put up a lot of things. You'll notice right up at the front. See those cactus looking guy? Those are cactus. Cacti? Cacti? Cactus? Okay, got some dynamite throwers here and a dead eye. Don't even remember what that was, but he's going to be so good. Towel Master won't see this one coming. Up on the other side, showing off their moderately impressive ship boat. We got monkey ninjas, we got kings, we got firework archers monk, and that dragon once again. This dragon, though, is painted red. Maybe this one will have a better fighting advantage. Won't be so likely to go off the ground because red has three letters, one less than blue, and probably makes them heavier. Let's see. Getting the camera in position here. Everybody's starting to charge the line. Those cactus are going to decimate. Oh, the dragon's out right away, seemingly taking out some of his own people. We knew that was a bad choice. Oh, dynamite throwers, cactus guys all over the place. Blue guys are diving backwards and what can only hope is a valiant attempt of staying alive and not a total act of cowardice. Oh, here we go. Red guys flying in the air. Sword guys taking a hit. Explosions going off right and left from the valiant uh, dynamite there. Look at this dragon. See, he's so much better now. He's coordinated. He's got it in. Oh, like twisty turny move there. Probably some super special power up. Knows about. This guy's spinning around with his stick, but it's not enough for the dynamite guy. Cowboys is shooting them right and left. They're walking forward like a guy that would be shooting while moving in a forward motion. Oh, and that's enough, though. What happens? Oh, Baldy comes away with a victory, but that was a close one. Fritz versus Jimothy is next. Oh, and right away, we're getting a scary vibe on here. A lot of scary in this group. Candleheads, vampires, nighttime, scythe-wielding, venom parasites, Wild West, ancient dynasty, Viking, medieval. Look at all of these. I'm going with berserkers on this one. This is a wide, diverse team of winners. Dragons at the ready. Horns back in the forward fighting formation. Lock X foils in attack position. Here we go. All right. Slow start this time. Got the first warning out in the front. I think that's psychological battle more than anything. Notice this can. Combined flame attack. They know that these venom parasites are the thing to get out of these first. And that there's a big explosion. I don't know if that dragon can survive. Now the backwards ranks are moving forward. We're seeing arrows. We're seeing shots around. As the venom scythe guy says, man, you are out of here. I don't care anything for you. You can leave. Let's stay in the back. Shooting those giant spurts. That's enough. Blue victory. This was wild. Look at that. Those guys in the back didn't even have to advance. Apologies, Fritz. You are gone. Handy crabs and peaches. Oh, man. Look at this. Dynamite throwers, dragons, berserkers. Handy crabs does a lot of things. And one of the things he does is pick battles. Spooky on the other side, sticking with their namesake. Going to go with vampires again. Man, there's a lot of these. Really hard to say. I think those reapers are the venoms. Okay, go up close. Oh, man, maybe Handicap G jumped the gun. I'm not sure. Probably could have been called for offsides on that. But we're going to go Flamethrower, Dragon Breath, right in the face there. Look at all of these, man. Don't play around. We're getting straight to the point. We're just killing by the hand. Da Vinci tank shooting like crazy. This Reaper took a shot right in the face and started He's going to kill a few more guys before he goes out. Is that enough? How many reds in the back? The dragons are celebrating early. Sometimes this may cost him a win. I don't know. I don't see a whole lot of blue left on the field. Let's zoom in on this last guy. Maybe you can do a Valiant Stance guy. Go for it. Blue Bones, we're all behind you. You got it. Or is this guy just pummeling him like this? He says, you're not going to pay a lot for that muffler. Andy Krabs will walk in the park. As we move to Crunchy and Mark Special. Not a seen a lot of action on the farmers today. Hopefully these hay balers come in and make it up. I'm not sure if we're in these uh, red rabbit ears as part of the thing or not, but they are very confident in their stance and presence. You can tell they are not one looking to go down easy. And that's what she said. So as we get a nice view of the shields in the front line of this group, let's pan over and see who's awaiting on the other side. 38 halflings. 
which if I wasn't too lazy would do the math. What is that like? 16 holings? Something like that? 14? Yeah, my sources are saying I shouldn't make that joke. Okay, straight down the line. Look at them warping in. Using their Back to the Future shoes. And here we go. Mamba's charging right away. These guys are tired. They are ready to rock. They want to get home and get back to their mammoth. And just trampling right and left. Right and left. So many. If the halflings team up on them, I guess two to one is an acceptable ratio. Even though they said they doing tractions very much. Big chop from that guy with the sword. Perhaps he's a king there. Yep, even my dog growling in the background. She's not thinking that's a legal move. But it is. That's totally fine. And move around. A lot of focus on the mammoths here. I think we've got a maybe a hidden plan of attack. Yep, Stampede is enacted. Look at him go. Flopping sideways, flopping four ways. Using those mighty tusks. Just running forward. Just as proud as they can be. What's going on over here? We got some red guys running away, playing some music. I didn't know we had bards in here, but it looks like we have. Come back here. I just want to talk. Very nice. Perhaps a politician, somebody looking for a donation. This battle has gone on for a long time. Gotta admit, I'm surprised. We got a long, lengthy fight here with the blue guy chasing the red guys. Red guys looking mostly lost. Mammoths have to be low on their power at this point. That's a long time to be on their feet and awake. This mammoth seems confused. Maybe he's high centered on those rocks over there. Mammoth's not known for their ability to traverse rocky terrain. King throttling this one guy in the back, just singing away back here. Look at him go. Like an old weird game of hide and seek from your bizarre uncle at Thanksgiving. Okay, he's got a shoulder approach, maybe. I'm in danger. Yeah, you don't say, man. You're gonna you're gonna really uh, want to get out of there soon. He's got a sharp sword and you've got an out-of-tune mandolin. Maybe it's a banjo. Okay, one of those four and a half string banjos. Oh, taking a hit. Look at him go. He's just gonna slowly move. Mama says, I'm so sick of this fight. Let's get out of here. See what we can come up with together. This one, our longest fight so far, and it's not even close. All right. Still got a mammoth charging, trampling one of these singing doodles. Here's the other guy. Look, Mom, I'm winning. Oh, taunting a mammoth. Brave strategy. Oh, or is it just foolish? And that's going to do it for Crunchy. Butternut versus Sid. A lot of dragons, spooky archers, renaissance. And these could be indie bands if we were paying attention, right? Okay, lining them up off the side of the world over here near the wheat field. Skeleton archers, another mammoth, more scarecrows. This one's going to be close. Are we battling for the bridge? Or are we allowed to go in the water? And right away we see some diving out of here. As everybody knows mammoths and dragons are arch nemeses. They're going to take to the streets. Meanwhile, under the bridge, water separating the two sides as this catapult fling stuff back and forth. A lot of fire in the bridge there. Looks like it's going to stop some of these guys from going across. The blue army already sleeping on the job. we got a few of them still flailing about back here. A couple of skeleton archers doing their part, but it's not going to be enough. Red victory. Press tab to continue. Continue butternut. As we move to Ethereum versus Lobster. All right, finally, more uh, more Vikings here. We got a Jarl and Valkyrie. I almost said we had more Valkyries than we do Jarls, but let's take a peek here. Gunslingers and Quick Draw versus Bomb Throwers and Cannons. That's a good way to do it. Plus, we got the Hawacha, the famous rocket launched arrows. Let's see how this goes. Again, red team coming in there to bring the full fun there. Those arrow cannons seem to be spinning it off balance. I don't know if they were fired from the calibrate to do the fight. Sometimes those tend to warp in the humidity. That could be a tactical disadvantage for sure, as we see the um, face down scarecrow there. This guy, full of arrows, says, I'm going to take one of you down with me. Blue guy standing around now, maybe doing that little uh, Lords of the River dance, but it's not enough. Watch it still fires once more before it goes out, and look at all the red forces in the background. We got a frozen gunslinger there. He's not going to do a lot besides die. And then in the back, one more. Three coins in the fountain. I'm just having a swim, mate. Well, you might have been, but you know what? You're swimming with the fishes now. Adios, lobster. Chris versus Willow. Oh, Chris, the master statistician, the master of all things. 
He's got Zeus on his team. That should tell you all you need to know. I like that sword juggling guy. Those are going to be spiky. Generally speaking, spikes are good in a battle. You don't want guys coming up against spikes. Willow, though, bringing the thunder here. Eight skeleton warriors, eight skeleton archers, and one venom-suited reaper. It's like reapers are terrifying enough with a scythe, and now you're giving them a symbiote. Just makes it tougher. Okay, I wonder if that catapult's going to target the Hawatcha first. And look at this. Not even sure what's going on with the second started attack right on the buzzer. And this one's going to break down relatively quickly, I'm guessing. The wide open field's not going to give him a lot of room to hide. Arrows flying. Body count's rising. Some of these dudes just appear disappearing in balloons. Look at that sword guy. Hey, use your swords to cut your balloon, man. Oh, he's holding on to his hat. I guess that's his priority. Down to the canvas. Red team's looking strong. I think that's it. See? You don't mess with the Chris. The Dingle versus Magnus. Renaissance. Lot of shield bearers. Dingle said, I didn't know the extent of the configuration, but here you go. Look at that. What a strategist. The mind on this guy. Magnus, though, no slouch himself. He's a terrific slouch. Skeleton Warriors 9. Interesting plan, putting the Reaper in the background, maybe just working on terrifying them after the fact. Here we go, though. Da Vinci takes spinning around like so much carousels of fire. Perhaps carousels with guns like you find Here we go, shooting right and left. Falls all over the place. Reaper's still spinning around, trying to get his footing on that outer edge. He's going to skirt that line of water, see if he can come in behind. Sword guy out dancing around, he's flicking his swords. Are we down? The shield guys might have only blocked their own shields from attack. That doesn't make sense, but it's okay. We are still good to go. Look at that. Through the second round, moving into the finals. Got the semis underway. Only a couple of matches left to determine the ultimate winner. And we're going to go with Baldi versus Magnus. Here we go, my Valiant Cactus Fighters once again. Dynamite throwers, because you can't have enough big boom. But panning around slowly, these guys, we just saw how deadly they can be, and they have the most unpredictable in the form of those dragons there. I've got to say, I'm not feeling strong in this one, but here we go. Come on, my cactus guys, you can do this. Dynamite throwers are throwing their dynamite up and questionable uh, strategy there. They threw him straight up and straight down. So you see this guy going flying? The engine is going to try to kill them with its carcass, perhaps trading one to one. Already the dragon's doing their dance of defiance here, spinning, flipping. I think they know that they've got this one well in hand. Blue guys in the middle, shooting in there. Look at all those guys coming back. I don't even know where the red guys are, but nope, there he was. It's not going to do any good. I am toast. And Handy Crabs and Mark Special will take over. All right, got a big combination here of dragons and a Da Vinci tank. This one could be good. There's a lot of red guys in the background there. Not sure how they're gonna fare, but that's okay. On the other side, with the mammoths, we got 38 halflings. Let's see if these guys can hold together. That king looks like he's gonna be fighting. Big impression here. Right off the bat, what's the opening strategy? Firing up the flames. Oh, Mammoth's charging beyond the flames, kind of breaking through that O-line. They're gonna get in there as the dragons start to dance and Bodies are flying up in the air, saying, hey, we tried, we just weren't good enough. This dragon says, oi, bunch of little losers over here. We're gonna come and do that. I don't know why dragons say oi, but they do. And then they know where the king's gonna come back. Look at him go, what's he? Okay, he's outnumbered, King can't, well, maybe he can, let's see here. He's got a weird flailing back kick, he's probably from the southern regions there, but that's okay, he's not going to be Oh, he's fighting off, can a king use, no, he can't. I was going to say, can a king use a sword to deflect a bomb from a tank? No. Did you know the tank shot it? No, Butternut versus Ethereum, you're on deck. Look at this giant battle here, this is going to be alive. A little bit of everything, including a Minotaur. Stationed archers on the, on the roof. Right across from stationed archers up on the roof. A brawler and a headbutter. Oh, can we just zoom in on the headbutter the entire fight? That would have been sweet. Here we go. Oh, boat flipped upside down. The dragon may already be down. Look at that. I don't see his dancing little guys in below. Got an icy stone hinge in the middle of this map. 
down to a few archers. The blue guys are falling right and left. Red skeleton archers. There's a blue winged guy down there. What's that? The scarecrow? Oh, hard to find this one. Let's see what we got. Okay. Still got a ballista. Oh, did it just get frozen? Yep. Another frozen Stonehenge. Looking to see what's left. A few red guys down there beneath that scroll reading statue. Here comes our Minotaur. He's ready to bring the thunder. Minotaur, bam! Charges right by him. Look at that shot. Not sure what's going on there. He's fighting some shield guys, perhaps getting the body slam, and that's enough. Look at that. For the red victory, which means butternut. Oh, but then there's Chris and Magnus. And these two ready to square off. Balloon archers, eight headbutters, and a Minotaur. This is a close in circle of doom water on both sides ships out there skeleton archers two pumpkin catapults magnus stands at the ready gives the command and they're off look at that pumpkins flying immediately breaking into smaller pumpkins the watch is shooting its arrows out there's a reaper in the background slowly moving up seeing some lightning seeing some balloon archers oh look at that the guy was caught yeah, one of those guys is getting lifted by a balloon, and then he got hit. That's the double DZ. Zeus up here, clinging lightning bolts with no regard. He's just going crazy as our sword juggler, playing an accordion or something, gets in there, and that's plenty. This one is over. Sorry, Chris. Join me on the loser's bench. Now we're down to the semis. Let's see what this one's going to produce. First up, Jimothy and Handy Crabs. Look at all the doom coming in. Ice archers, berserkers, firework archers, and a single viking. No word on the pear tree. Flaming dragons always taunting their enemies with flame and the dance of doom. How will it pair off, though, against this other side of a dragon with ten flintlocks at the ready? Dynamite throwers, another dragon, da Vinci tank. Ooh. Got a lot here, this is pretty heavy. And we're off. Flames and fire everywhere. All of them getting burned to the ground. A lot of people laying down already. Dragons are already out. Cannonballs still flying from the Da Vinci tank. A few split locks, a few dual wielders in the back. Arrows still being launched. This guy's shooting up in the air. Perhaps he thinks he's celebrating. Look at that. Slow motion so we can see just how gory the battle can be on the front lines. Tank is spinning around and preparing maybe for something else. We're zoomed in close to see. We wait with bated breath and see how long I can hold out to this one sentence without properly ending it. And that's going to do it for the red team. We'll find out who won that one shortly, but Butternut versus Magnus. As we're getting down to the penultimate fights here, spear throwers, bomb throwers, musketeers. Wow, what a nice statue overlooking everybody. Again, spooky, a small but concise army ready to rock. I don't know how they get the catapults up there. I'm assuming they were thrown up with a larger catapult. And we are already underway. These guys not waiting for the ref to signal. Dubious placement of a boat. Traditionally, boats float on water, but maybe this one is different. We got a reaper in the background. He is ready to go. Flaming dragons already dancing. Reaper says, get that out of here. We are not having any of that on my watch, good sirs. Archers on the top. Notice how they can just jump straight down from the ground. That's one of their archer special premises. Pumpkins thrown straight down into the ground, making it a bounce. Hopefully it's going to hit something else. Otherwise, this poor guy is on the back. Going to have to explain to his management later why he made this choice. Red victory. And folks, you knew it would come down to this from when we first set this up. Third place battle, Handy Crabs and Magnus. We're going to look to see the Pirates of the Wild West Renaissance, governed by Team Handy. Facing off for the last time on this feed against the Spookies of Magnus. Swordcasters, Reapers, Punk and Catapults. Let's get it done. All right, dragons flaming in the back. We're flanking on each side of that Da Vinci tank. This one is a close confined battle again with a brick wall on one side, a wheat field in the middle. Reaper going crazy, bodies are flying. 
people getting knocked forward, backwards, and in the air, and perhaps on a few other planes we have yet to fully name. Pumpkins lobbed. This guy just standing there saying, what of it? Elbow drop. Not good enough, though, to beat the catapult. We're waiting to see if there's anybody left. The Vinci Tank still trying to get some shots off, and that's going to do it. Third place seized by Handy Crabs, which can only mean for your main event of the time of day that you're watching this. Jimothy on his side with the Wild West Ancient Dynasty. Healers. Now, he might be the only one with healers. Maybe that's the strategy. Squaring off against Blue Dragons. The Blue Boat, this time on the, on the water. And all the others assembled by Butternut. Folks, the battle for the ages is underway. And here we go. Flamethrower Dragon starting out right away as this shot riles right through. Is that the Minotaur going straight to the back to the Watcha Arrow Launchers? Grand Dancing Dragons up front. Already on the ground. Oh man, this one could be over quickly. Ballista still trying to shoot, trying to get some traction. Red arrows. Somebody just blew up way high in the air right there. Oh, look at all these guys. A couple more gonna square off. Karate kick! Oh, look at that! Standing back kick. And that makes it Jimothy in first, Butternut in second, Handy Crabs in third. Thank you to all of our participants. Thank you to Chris for arranging this amazing display of military prowess. We hope to see you again next time. Until we do, you've been hearing my voice.